All right, boys. Boom, there it is. Hate smoking cigarettes. Smoked for many years, and now this gives me the uh, the thrill of kind of like smoking cigarette. Anyway, I have this camera on a table because I'm going to box this guy. Make sure you subscribe, you hit that bell notification, and you hit like. And you can share this. It's pretty cool. Anyway, boom, there it is. What is it? It is a phone holder. Now, why did I pick this? I don't fall on phone holders, phone holders that I've had for many years. They all usually break. You fall on the bike, they break. And uh, you fall off the bike and they break. The bike falls and it breaks. So pretty much it breaks, breaks, breaks. Now, also, you know, people got the uh, GoPro cameras and all that. Look, I got a GoPro camera, but I can't mess with the software editing, this and that. I'm, I'm not a dude with that. You know, I'm not wasting that time. I got a kid, I got a wife, I got to take care of, I got a house. Yeah, you know, I got to do things, you know. And I'm a married guy. I'm doing this because I want to record. And I also want to know or I want to make sure that my audience knows that uh, certain things are made for pleasure and temporarily, temporary uh, work or purpose. And some things are made for a very long time. I've had GoPro installed and, uh, you know, it broke. I've had uh, other other things, holders installed and it broke. Um, this one is horizontal, so it's not really vertical. So it kind of sucks because, the, I mean, okay, the screen is going to be nice, but when you run an application uh, like Under Armour for bikes and all that or GPS, it kind of like shows you... Uh, you know an awkward awkward uh, screen so anyway moving with the bike and of course with additional additional accessories that to me unnecessary and god forbid somebody calls you while you're on the ride you know your wife your kids whatever it is your friends you don't want to meet up and uh, you want to make sure that you don't keep reaching to your pocket and let go of the steering wheel that you have both hands on your steering wheel you're wearing the gear and you're safe at the end of the day, that's why the city makes rules, regulations, and laws not to ride, you know, the bike with uh, no hands on the handlebars or one handle or one hand on the handlebar. You know, tricky things. Anyway, we're gonna move forward with this unboxing. Uh, so it is a very nice thing. They give you good stuff. They give you an Allen key, which is awesome, right? So you don't have to go. Half one or get one. They give you 3M tape. So this tape is so the item that you purchase does not move back and forth. Kind of like a rubber thing, but also has a 3M, which is a nice, nice gesture, nice, nice uh, idea for the item I have purchased. Item costs about ten dollars, so it's not madly expensive. And when we look inside, oh, well, there it is. Beautiful graphics, by the way. You're going to ask yourself, what the hell is that? You know what? This is a cycling box. And as you can see inside, there is a rubber, which I got to take it off anyway. But I, won't. I already, you know what? Let me do a full review on this guy. Because this guy is off eBay. And it's $10 and it's crazy cheap for what I got. And the... Uh, quality of this item is extremely well crafted okay if you may say I'm going to use the Allen key that they provide with the kids because I want to remove the uh, rubber okay this one and there is the second so when you install you want to put two of these guys right over there second right now <clears throat> this piece goes on the handlebar Okay, my handlebars, I have two, I have one that is really skinny, and I have one that is wide enough for everything else. Your Allen key, or I'm sorry, your Allen screw, there it is. Nice, you can't strip it if you have, and uh, this is the opening for the handlebar, so it opens that way. Now, what you do is, see, well, okay, so this is really unique if you look at it, right? <coughs> this is what you're going to have on a bike, nothing else. This is going to be like this closed. 
So nobody's even going to say, oh, look at this. It's like, oh, what is that? It's a cycling box. It's like, okay, it's pretty cool. What I don't like, this one is actually kind of, uh, um, it has, it has uh, imperfection in it because you can see it sticks out. So it's going to wobble if you ride on a bike. So it's going to wobble because the spring over here inside is not that strong. But this is how it works. Okay, so you put your phone, you put this out, and you put your phone in. Okay, four and a half inch in uh, length, or I might say width. Okay, this is how it goes. And my phone fits this, fits in this perfectly. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to install this on a bike, and we are going to give it a test run maybe today. I hope. Okay, if everything goes right, I'll be able to do so. Alright, so you got this closed off, no, no, um, locked eye, nothing like that, and boom, there it is. So this goes on your handle with these shims, or rubber seals, whatever you want to call them, okay? <clears throat> That's what they are. And then you expand this, and you put your phone in there, and pretty much it goes this way, horizontally. Alright? <clears throat> So, I, um, if you guys are interested in this item, I can give you guys a link. And uh, I don't, well, if you buy it, you buy it. If you don't, you don't. And if you buy it, I get nothing out of it because it's a straight link to eBay, the person that sells it. And FYI, they are sending me another one because I took a picture saying, like, look, this, this piece over here, the this, this spring is not strong enough, so it's not holding it right. So they're sending another one. So for ten dollars, I get two. So I'm going to install this guy because it's really it's functional, but it's just not perfect. I like perfect things in my life, just like I like my wife and my kids. Perfect. All right. So there it is. And again, if you are interested in this, make sure you uh, subscribe. You hit the bell notification, and uh, you will let me know. In comments below that you want to know where I got this from and I would be more than glad to give you the link it's this wrench is from 57 millimeters to 75 millimeters if you want to take a quick look no, it's not gonna it going to... anyway that's what it says Range is 57 to 75. So if you're between 57 millimeters to 75 millimeters, your phone is going to fit in it. All right, folks. <clears throat> so until then, until then, make sure you wear your gear, you drive or you ride safe, whichever you're doing. Do not drink and drive. You're going to be totally screwed up. And uh, be careful the way you drive. Stay safe. All right, folks. Until the next video, subscribe.